In Kansas City's most accurate, Kansas City's weather leader. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kansas City Live. I'm sitting here with Miss Miss J Money, Jen Bertrand, season three's winner of HGTV's Design Star. And we were lucky enough, and by lucky I mean blessed, to have her design our set. So behold, okay, first off the bat, I have to know. What is with the what was the inspiration behind the giant owl? Can you see the giant owl behind us? What is the inspiration behind this giant owl? I think every show needs a mascot, <laughs> and I thought yours should be the owl. Plus, it's utilizing Kansas City's West Bottoms. Like, have you ever been first Fridays, first weekends? And I found that it's an antique and vintage, and it says Grandma Chic. It says it does say Grandma <laughs> Chic. I I am loving the owl. Okay, now what was your inspiration? It's very mod. What was your inspiration behind this set? And it is to die for. My idea was to give you guys something fresh. People are going to wake up. Have their coffee and watch you guys, and I want it to inspire people to like have a happy house. Don't do lame. Don't do what's expected of you. Do something that like feels like a hug. A, a hug. I love it. <laughs> what, now we actually have some video of you doing your thing, and we're, how long did it take to put this set together from beginning to end? Because it didn't just happen overnight. I think you've been working on it for. <laughs> For weeks, months, years. All great ideas simmer. You know, I have no clue. It's, um, it takes me a little bit to think of the idea, but it's been a few weeks, months, years, possibly. <laughs> oh my gosh, we absolutely love it. Now, since you did such a great job um, working on our set, what, is it weird? Is it weird to look back, you know, at your days as you've grown as a designer from when you won back on Design Star? Well, you know what? I'm totally a different designer because, as most of Kansas City knows, I ended up having a special needs son, and I say it's very easy. Easy to pick a paint color after facing real life and death things, and I think it made me go slightly mental crazy <laughs> when I do things because I'm like, you know what, life's too short. Like it's just paint, it's just furniture. Have fun with it, take risks. So many times people chicken out, go too small, too safe, or do what they think their neighbors would think would look good. Who cares? Who cares? I actually, I'm going to actually get up because my favorite part of this set is right here. I need to know <laughs> what was the inspiration behind. This. Can you see it? The, the, uh, that is just so random and arbitrary. I love it. <laughs> I think everyone in your house should have something random that is a talking point. But I also had a mom who was an artist who also used a bidet in our house as like part of decoration. So I might be slightly crazy. But my thing is this is have something that makes you smile, makes you laugh. And to me, it just summed you up and Michelle up that you guys are warm, fuzzy, and nice. Everyone comes to the set and they all talk about this. Well, first they talk about Ali McAllerson back there, and then they talk about this picture so I want to pretend like it's someone I'm related to but it's totally not but I want to be like that's my aunt you know it was very personal but no I just found it and thought it was hilarious and I'm like who doesn't want to take a picture with two I, white kittens kitty. it's hilarious <laughs> now how has your life changed since you became famous <laughs> um, uber famous <laughs> you're so nice oh I got big plans still but you know what honestly like it's just been fun I've had amazing opportunities and I've met amazing people from all over the world like I all my Twitter followers everyone's been cheering me on and the nice thing is people are still wondering what's coming next and what to expect yeah what is next please please say our godforsaken kitchen set please yes because your kitchen makes me sad every time I come on the set and it makes me go in the fetal position so we're gonna use it as inspiration for you viewers at home who have ugly kitchens and need to know what to do Let's start with the one here. All right. Well, I got a project for you, girl. I got. You don't know even. You have no idea what's going on. But we're gonna. I got a project for you. Get up. Let's okay. go. We're gonna. We're gonna take this party on the road. You have no idea what's going on, but it is gonna be fun, fun, fun until Daddy takes the T-bird away. Come on, girl. Let's go. Let's go check this out. Come on. Okay. You have no idea. You have no idea what's going on, right? I'm slightly scared. You should be scared. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. This is my only workout for the. Your only workout? All right. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So we've been here in the building, Michelle and I, less than two weeks, and we've already managed to make our area craptastic. Check it out. <laughs> I don't even know if it's craptastic. <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid? I would be afraid if I were you. Look, there is stuff everywhere. And this is my personal favorite. Look at all of our J. Crew clothes being held up by. A roll of carpeting. That is, oh girl. At least you're creative. And what is with the color? I don't know what, what is with this color scheme? It says, I'm really sad and it doesn't inspire you to create anything fabulous. I need, I need it redone and I'm tasking you to make over our vestibule. I'm giving you $200. Can you do it? Which is tight, but of course it can work wonders and that's okay. Uh -huh. The thing is, it's like, it's not as happy as you guys are. No, that's what we need to do. I know. And there's stuff everywhere. I just want it to be clean and tidy and organized. And, and, and I can tell which side is your side. Yeah, that's my side <laughs> over there. So 